Hello, I'm Professor Rob Coleman. I'm a medical oncologist uh, working in Sheffield. Uh, I mainly treat breast cancer and have been a, a researcher into clinical aspects of breast cancer care for the last 25 years. When we first started using the bisphosphonates, we really saw them as what you might call supportive care. They're helping the patient, but they're not really tackling the underlying disease. And that's probably true once the cancer is properly established as a, as a metastatic process. But in the background was lots of laboratory research in preclinical animal models showing that bisphosphonates seem to prevent uh, cancer from, uh, if you like, taking root in the bone um, and slowing down the progression of, of tumours in the bone. And the feeling was that if we could introduce them earlier in the course of the disease, we might be able to exploit those properties. So rather than waiting for the patient to have widespread cancer effect in the bones, when it's probably unrealistic to expect a bisphosphonate to shrink those tumours, actually treat the patient much earlier, ideally as soon as the diagnosis is made, to try and stop the cancer cells that have spread by the time we make the diagnosis from taking root and, and ultimately causing uh, secondary disease. The reason that we decided to conduct a meta-analysis in breast cancer was that the individual trials that people were presenting and publishing were rather varied in their outcomes. Some showed clear benefit, um, but others didn't, or at least not in the whole population they were treating. So by doing a meta-analysis you can ask uh, questions about subgroups of patients. Uh, and because we were able to pull together so many patients and data sets, then you get tremendous statistical security in the results that, that come out. When we set out to do the meta-analysis, we really went across the world looking for every trial that had randomised women with early breast cancer to receive a bisphosphonate or not. There were more than 20 such studies that have been conducted worldwide uh, containing just over 20,000 women and we were able to collect the individual data from just under 19,000 so about 90 just over 90 percent of the of the all the, the randomized trial evidence. Uh, the main findings from the bisphosphonate meta-analysis was that uh, bisphosphonates given in the adjuvant setting to women with early breast cancer reduce recurrence rates particularly in bone by about one-third and reduce death from breast cancer by about one-sixth, but only in women who have gone through the menopause. We would estimate that if, if every woman in the country with breast cancer took a bisphosphonate, that after 10 years, that would be equating to about a 1,000 lives saved a year. Uh, so that's a, that's a big benefit. And that size of benefit is very similar to many of the other things that have been introduced over the last 10 or 20 years, so the benefits of changing from tamoxifen to an aromatase inhibitor or adding in chemotherapy have all brought about those kind of incremental benefits. So we think it's clinically very important.